my done. This is only for mad people. Insane people do not come here. This is no longer planet Earth. This is like somewhere out of fucking Jupiter. Send us a spaceship. Call NASA. N-A-V-P-R. NASA. That is not how you spell fucking NASA. Mission so we're on the way to our track. That is Pokhara. That's where we were staying before. The taxi driver just dropped us off and said, just walk down there. Go to Auxiliac. Oh my God. So we've walked about 300 meters in altitude. We've got about 2,500 meters to go. I don't know if we're gonna last. We're already dying. This is the Australian base camp. It's the first stop on the way up. Can't see it facing this way. Oh my God, it's godly. That's the mountain we're gonna be climbing up called Annapurna, if we make it. So I'm in the shower and all I hear is my dad going, Taylor, Taylor, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. My first reaction was like, oh my God, what the hell, what's wrong? So I wrapped myself in the towel, ran out. I'm like, what's wrong, are you all right? He's like, come outside, we just see. Wow. what a view so it's the next morning now we started walking at about 8 a.m it's about 9 30 now i don't know if you guys can see behind me you can kind of see a bit of the peak of the mountain there it's kind of overcast so it comes in and out in and out of seeing the mountain yeah we've just stopped over now there's all these little tea houses every like half an hour or an hour we can stop get some water food go to the bathroom whatever I'll show you guys around it's pretty cute there's the mountain there We, no, slept we slept here. there, walked there. And now we're here. And we're gonna try and get to Newbridge. There's a guy up in that tree. We have no idea how he got up there. Thank you. He's got no shoes on. What a legend. This is freaking incredible guys. I definitely recommend doing this if you come to Nepal or even trekking anywhere in the world. Just go and do it. Go and climb a mountain. You do have to be somewhat fit, I would say. And maybe if you have like breathing problems or lung issues or if you smoke a lot, it probably be a bit hard. But you can take it at your own pace. If you struggle, all you do is literally just sit down, have a cup of tea, just chill out. There's no rules. This is off season for hiking in Nepal because it's wet season. So the peak season is actually from September to February, he said. That's when it's snowing and it's really cold. We found some mountain climbing goats. I'll show you guys. Hello. Oh. Hi. Hi. Imagine going to school here. Look where we are. Man, people live different lives. Look here. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Cool. Namaste. No chocolate. <laughs> what do you want? Money. <laughs> here. You buy chocolate, yeah? Yes. Keep it for you. Don't give it to mum. For you, yeah? I don't usually give the kids money, but he was too cute. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta make an exception. And I don't think they're beggars out here. They just live in a village, so it's all right. All he's gonna do is go and buy some chocolate. What's the harm in that? Look what we found. Look at that. They all ask for chocolate. We don't eat chocolate. We're vegan. No chocolate. I like it there. Thank you. Shit. <laughs> Things wobbly as. Yeah, we're here. We're here. To go there. Yes. Well, that's. Two, three hours back. We are People lost are up, up as hell. It's, it's getting dark. Oh, wow. Namaste. Hello. We've got these two little dogs showing us the way. They've been walking with us for about an hour. How cute. 
We thought oh. we were going to be sleeping in this oh. bush tonight. That was crazy. Oh my god. So if you just remain chill in times where you're not meant to be chill, the law of nature will work in your favor. Both Dad and I didn't freak out that it's going to be dark soon and we're lost in the bush. And out of nowhere, this group of people, two dogs that are guiding them, and then a man and a water buffalo come and the man says he's going to guide us there. What does that tell you? I think we made it. Oh my lord. Like I was at peace but I was still low-key shitting it. Thank you, doggies. Thanks for showing us the way. So we just got to this place. We all stopped. One of the guys that were walking with us said he had leeches. Then we looked at my dad's legs and he's got cuts all over his legs. And I was like, oh, I think I'm fine. And I took my shoes off and there was leeches everywhere. Oh man. Ooh, it's freaking out. It's all good though. It's the third morning now. We've decided to get a guide to take us the rest of the way just because we don't want to risk getting lost like we did yesterday. Oh my god, guys, I just have to show you quickly. Look what I'm walking behind. So, yesterday we walked all the way down the mountain. That's how we ended up at the river. And today, so we're kind of like mountain hopping. We're going down mountains, up mountains, down, up. Today, we're going all the way up. So, going up like a thousand meters. So tired. 20 stop, so many 20 stairs. stairs. Mm. So three kilo. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to bring that one in. So I <laughs> What's wrong? This is my breaking point moment. The fuck have I done? There's two more days of this. This is only for mad people. Insane people do not come here. Do not read the brochures. It's a fucking trick. Madness. It's mad. Oh my god, what have we done? What have we done? <laughs> this is only the second day. <laughs> It's a lot harder than yesterday. Yesterday was easy compared to this. This is all literally just upstairs, straight up. We're struggling a bit, but it's all right. Yeah, you want assist? You got some? I want hi-fi, lo-fi, side-fi. Yeah, okay. You have marijuana? Yeah, but <laughs> it has marijuana, not hashis. Not hashishi. My name is Sudeep. Seeing these horses just walk through every now and then is the most amazing thing ever. It takes you back thousands of years. Hey! He does. Hi! Say hello, Taylor. Hi! Look, look, who's that? <laughs> He's, He's drawn to the technology. He's like, what the hell is this? Hey, no. Hey, no. No touch these. It's bad. Come on. That's you. It's us. Third morning, fourth day. Lots more stairs. So we're going up about 1,000 meters today. Big difference in altitude. We've been a bit slow yesterday and today because our bodies are just so freaking sore. You have no idea. This is hands down physically the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. But it's the most incredible thing I've ever experienced. It's all about pushing yourself to the limit. Hey? We have no idea what our mind or body are capable of doing. And this proves it. I never thought I'd be able to trek up a mountain. It's pretty crazy stuff. From this point up to Annapurna Base Camp, they're saying not to eat meat to respect their ancient beliefs, which is good. I like that. Maybe four or five hours before this. From that point upwards, they stop selling bottled water. If you want water, you have to fill it up from their natural springs. No bottled water and no animal products from this point. There's no roads here, so for them to get supplies from village to village, they have to carry it like that. He goes up and down twice a day. Will he eat from my hand? That's so cool. Up here. Right. Guys, this is the first toilet I've been to that actually provides toilet paper. Even in the hotels in Polkara, the guest house that we've been staying at, they don't provide toilet paper. So number one tip, always carry toilet paper with you. We're almost above the clouds. It's the clouds. 
Looks like a volcano. First day was like Lord of the Rings movie set shit. Second day was villages and horses and felt like we were back 1,000 years. And today is just pure jungle, pure like Amazon forest shit. Every day, every few hours is completely different. It's insane. As I'm gonna make another video on like what to bring, the cost, what to expect, the rooms, food, everything. So if you have any questions and you wanna know anything about this trekking, let me know. In the comments we are officially 3270 meters high it's high man pretty high speed of one and climb the other okay wow look at this place we're just going up and up and up and up and up. We're literally in the clouds like walking through clouds. This is sick. This is crazy. Ooh, seriously, looks like oh my God. we're on another planet. Look at this. This is no longer planet Earth. This is like somewhere out of fucking Jupiter or the moon or somewhere. Much hashishi, Habibi. My Habibi, too much hashishi. What the fuck? This is pretty crazy. Absolutely madness. We've made a mistake. We're on the moon. You sent us a spaceship. Call NASA. NASA. N A V P R. NASA. N P NASA. N E N E C. Anyway, whoever the fuck they are, call them. I don't know how to spell it. Google it. Send us a spaceship. That is not how you spell it. Fucking NASA. mission rescue. Mission rescue. <laughs> rescue our motherfuckers from the fucking god knows where. I think this is not planet Earth as we know it. Oh, look at that waterfall. Wow. Take a look at this side. You're going to trip out. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is absolutely spectacular. Look at this place. No longer planet Earth. You know what Namaste means? <laughs> he comes to Namaste means I'm fucking freezing. Namaste means I'm frozen my fucking balls off today. Namaste means buy gloves when you come to fucking Arapuna. Morning four, going up to ABC. Day five, the morning four. Officially 3,700 meters high. We've just got to our second last stop, and I've got a base camp, which is our last stop, is two hours from here. Once you get higher, it gets a lot harder with the altitude. I really struggle to breathe. We made it. I don't have enough energy to be excited. 4,130 meters. Wow. You go to like one of their museums. Half the shit is just. This is what we wake up at 5 a.m. to see. This is why we hike five days up a mountain to see this. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Picture. <laughs> you are the picture. <laughs> what an incredible way to end a five day journey. This is such a reward for what we've done. We've accomplished something truly incredible. Hiking up one of the Himalayan mountains. We only got to see the mountain like this, maybe just the peak of it for 10 minutes or so every day. And even that was incredible. But now 
on the last morning this is what we get to see mentally one of the most empowering things i've ever done i didn't think i would ever be able to climb the five days up a mountain in the himalayas just incredible what we can do what we can train our mind and body to do and what limits we can take our mind and body to it's crazy the power of the mind we could have given up 50 billion times along the way and just said stuff it let's go back but our mindset was to go at the top and we made it to the top we've done it <laughs> all in all this was the most incredible journey I've ever, ever been on in my life and it's really showed me a lot of beauty on our earth has made me appreciate a lot of things about day-to-day -day living so I hope you guys enjoyed watching our five-day trek up Annapurna mountain uh, this is our last morning yeah just gonna go and enjoy the views now try and get off my phone and just be present with all of this because it's something you definitely don't see every day bye guys if you're wondering why I didn't show you guys how we're walking down check this out